the 22nd of July, 2020, Wednesday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time. Feast of St. Mary Magdalene. First reading. A reading from the Song of Songs. The Bride says, On my bed at night I sought him, whom my heart loves. I sought him but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings I will seek him whom my heart loves. I sought him but I did not find him. The watchmen came upon me as they made their rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left them. When I found him whom my heart loves. The Word of the Lord. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb, weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb, and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head, and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener, and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabbani, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father, and your Father, to my God, and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection, Mary of the town of Magdala was one of the twelve women who had followed Jesus from the beginning of his ministry in Galilee. Whoever she was, she is in all the Gospel accounts of the resurrection of one of the murbearing women who go to the tomb. In John's account she sees the empty tomb, and assumes that Jesus' body has been stolen, and she is bereft, and beside herself with grief. She tells Peter and the beloved disciple about the tomb, but does not enter, baptism. She stands outside weeping. Even angels do not shock her into some sense that something is happening, and that her obsession with Jesus' body is a dead end. Even Jesus' voice and questioning of her doesn't register she is intent on getting his dead body. Her attachment to what she knew of him before crucifixion and resurrection has blinded her to who Jesus really is. She only recognizes her own name in his mouth and is told not to cling to him he is not her possession. He belongs only to his father and her father, to his God and her God and that is what she is commanded to tell the disciples. Do we cling to our personal ideas of Jesus and miss who the risen Lord truly is? Is Jesus telling us to let go of the past and believe in a future that we could not imagine?